Hi, my name is Megan Hines. I'm the owner of June and Juice. We are here today talking about salads and quick bites and zoodles. So it is showtime. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Megan Hines of June and Juice in Berlin and uh, showed us how to make a blue mermaid smoothie. It was not only healthy, it was very, <laughs> very good. And look who's back. Megan's head back to talk to us about uh, 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 what's new at June and Juice. Yeah. Because you've got stuff going on. Yes, always you're, something new. You're still doing the juices, obviously. Yep, always we'll have the juices since last time we moved to glass bottles, so improving there. Okay, so, yeah. all right. Nice. But now you're adding some salads and some other um, super healthy, super food yeah. treats. Absolutely. So we heard from people that they wanted a quick carryout option. They wanted to, on their 15 minute lunch break, be able to grab something to eat and go on their way. Um, so we brought salads into the mix. Um, we're using a lot of those things anyway mm -hmm. in our juices or our smoothies, so we figured having a salad would be another great option. Okay, so we're gonna make a salad. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're gonna make this. This exactly. is your, okay. I'll put this right here. All right. What, okay, so what, sure. what's all in it? So uh, this is our power quinoa salad. It is a greens base, and I was thinking to start with just kale, but um, one of our farmers had local romaine available early in the season, so we're adding that in today as well. So it is a greens base. Um, I did use quinoa um, in there as well, so having some whole greens in there. We'll top it with fruit, so pineapples, blueberries, um, mm. walnuts, and then I made the dressing, so we won't see that part, but um, the dressing is what makes it absolutely awesome and it has a little bit of our juice so it has a ginger turmeric and uh, lemon juice in there as well as apple cider vinegar and olive oil so Ooh. a healthy base sounds that, amazing that sounds good yeah. so jimmy's gonna cut so lettuce chopping, right? yes and i'm okay. cutting the pineapple yes oh boy <laughs> so, the pineapple? yeah hand me, hand me a pineapple perfect lisa look what i got for you oh, today thank you jimmy <laughs> Here, I didn't think you cared. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah. So we'll cut the end off of that, that and then just chopping it into um, roughly fork sized bites. I've There's never no cut wrong a, way to a, a pineapple. Is there a okay. right way, a wrong way? All right, so my favorite way, they do make like devices for this, but to sure. do it by hand, we just cut the top off and the bottom off. Okay, I think I can do that. That's the top. Lisa was making fun of me for taking my time when I <laughs> chop things and cut things, and I'm telling you, of all the shows we've done, of all the food we've prepared, not yet have we found a finger in it. <laughs> not yet. I thought that was good. <laughs> all right, we got to the top and the bottom. Right, and then we're, we'll just um, do one chunk of it, so mm -hmm. we could get this skin off. Just the skin off. Um, and then we'll cut from the core as well. Okay. So like, just like they have an apple slicer, they do have a pineapple slicer. So yeah. if someone were to do this at home, they might find that easier. Um, Should I just keep going around? Or yeah, just let's do or one, one more. One more. Um, okay just so we can get it nice and clear there. See, I had to ask questions here because I, I'd heard Lisa referring to superfoods and, and power salads. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't understand. What, define that for me. Uh, well, I'll give you what it is not and then I'll tell you what a power salad is. Okay, okay. Um, so when I grew up, I had iceberg salad with like ranch dressing and that was, that <laughs> that was, was it. it. <laughs> and um, I still love that and I still enjoy it, but I would prefer to get a lot more nutrients if I'm going to eat the salad. Okay. So okay. we start with like the greens in there, um, but we also have the fruits, the whole grains, um, nuts or some sort of legume in there. And then for the salad dressing, I think like an oil and vinegar, um, or you'll see like a different, I'll show you the zoodles uh, salad dressing zoodles. later. I can't um, wait for this. But, oh yeah, we've been talking about the zoodles. zoodles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it, uh, is that enough? Exactly. Oh, so cool. we're just going to do um, a, a few chunks like that and mm -hmm. it'll be sprinkled, sprinkled on top. Sprinkled on top. Of the okay. So How is this? Is Jimmy's okay? finishing up the lettuce nice. there. Is it adequate? Oh, that looks phenomenal. So, so just so dump it in there? We will dump it right okay. in the bowl. Still some yeah. big pieces. My apologies. That's Not perfect. You, she said fork size. Well, I got a big fork. Big fork. Exactly. Jimmy uses a very big fork. Um, now, if I could ask you to Not a fork chop lift. up just a couple of those kale leaves, kale. and we will mix that in as well. Okay. <laughs> that's interesting kale. That doesn't yeah. look like what, I mean, it, that's it, the whole stock there. I guess when sure. you buy it in the supermarket, it's already cut up in a bag. Yes. Yeah. So, so um, this is lacinato kale or dinosaur kale. Um, you'll notice it's a little darker, mm -hmm. um, and it's not as curly as some of the varieties you see in the store. Um, I like this because the darker the green, the more nutrients sure. in it. And so we tend to use this as often as we can source it. Okay. Um, and so, perfect. So as long as it's not like giant 
pieces. Fork, right fork There's really no wrong way to do that. Fork so that size, is right. perfect as well. Jimmy fork size. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Lisa. <laughs> Well made, we'll <laughs> and so you'll notice we're making a large salad here. I'm going to mm. use my hands just okay. to mix it in and then just add the toppings. Oh, so okay. It's, it's very straightforward, very simple. Um, do you want to switch? Do, do yeah, you want to add the in. blueberries and the quinoa? Any particular order or just do the thing? We're going to mix it all together. All right. So. Yeah. Blueberries. Perfect. And the quinoa and the almonds, or not almonds, sorry, walnuts. Walnuts, yep. You quinoa. Oh, I'm dropping big clumps in there. Ah. And so what, what you didn't see is that the quinoa would be cooked ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Raw quinoa doesn't, wouldn't look no. or taste <laughs> great. Um, so that, that was cooked ahead of time, but everything else is raw. Um, and then we would add salad dressing. Okay, so and that's what's in that jar. That is what little... is in that. Um, so you'll see like the oil and vinegar kind of mm -hmm. separate if we were to um, let it sit. So I give it a good shake. Do you okay. want to go ahead and pour sure. that Sure, just pour this whole thing over yep, it? Yeah, exactly. I like this little, little bottle. Yes. It's very nice. Mm. Well, it's good. It really does. <laughs> um, so right. And that's that. So that's that, it. That is it. Ooh, all right. Should we test it? Let's test it. Let's test it. Do we have plates? I grabbed plates. Oh, here we go. Here. Oh, you got them. Okay. Um, good. Excellent. Make... Thank you. All right. And there's your fork. Thank you. <laughs> and tongs. I don't know where to find them. That's oh, it. we got stuff hidden all over the place. <laughs> Beautiful. Put that right back. Some for you, Jimmy. Oh, thank you. Some for me. Oh, you're gonna eat more. <laughs> hey, more when keys. I said test it, we're, I'm serious about this. This is neat. And and you just came up with this in your head. You know what I think would taste good together? Well, I I've done this before in my own kitchen. Yeah. Um, and it, it was a lot of what we already had for other ingredients. So mm. that's what we combined. Mmm. I love that dressing. Just Very for, good. Very just good. for the record. It's every bit as good as we thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right, well, we're not done with the deliciousness. We're just zoodling next, right? Yes. Look Can't forward wait. to that. <laughs> Stick around, Del Marble Life. We'll be right back. Mm. The moment we have all been waiting for has finally come. It's time to zoodle. <laughs> and we're back in the Del Marble Life kitchen with Megan Hines from June and Juice in Berlin. I guess I should put this down, should I? Okay. Yeah, because it's time to zoodle. That was a great sound. And this is the zoodler, right? That's right. So, Super what are we simple. making? So this is a Thai zoodle salad. I'm um, very original in my names, but it's a Thai dressing, <laughs> and then it has zoodles in it. So if you have never heard of a zoodle before, we are taking zucchini and making them into ribbons, like a noodle. Like a noodle. Exactly. A zucchini exactly. noodle. Yes. Okay. Zoodle. Zoodle. Clearing All right. Up. So I this is in front of me, so I get to do it, right? That's right. All right. So we got our zucchini. Yeah. Um, I love this because I got the zucchini right at our farmer's market. Ah. So um, they are in season right now. You'll find them hopefully at every market. Um, so we get, I got that one from the Berlin farmer's market. Okay. Shop your local, get yes. your stuff. Exactly. So how do I chop it? So I would chop just the ends off. Okay. And then you could either have it. I think a half would be better and then it'll fit well on there. Yeah. Um, and then you kind of spike it on. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Yeah. And then you're going to turn it and it will go. A little squeaky, huh? It is a little squeaky. And it oh, will... there, there, there go my. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my hand's in the way. That's what's wrong. Yeah. And then we will push it forward. Okay. Yeah. So, well, it was yeah. pushing forward. Okay. It's just that my hand was uh, keeping it from going forward. This could be kind Perfect. of therapeutic, couldn't it? It could be. I got probably need to go a little faster though. Something for the kids to do while you're getting food yeah. ready. <laughs> could you zoodle for me? <laughs> so I do have two young kids. Yeah. And if I were to throw vegetables in a different form where it looks interesting right. to them, they're going to eat They'll it. They'll try it. Um, but if it were a zucchini by itself, they would not touch it. So. All right. So that's number one, or half of number one. Yeah, it goes a long way. OK, now how do I, oh, there yep. you go. Very simple. And you get this little. Knobby <laughs> thing at the end. Your son is a top. Play with it for a while. <laughs> and then part two. Mm -hmm. So in in the salad, the zucchini is raw. Yes. Yeah. You could absolutely do some other dishes where you pan fry it or something like that. But all of the things that I'm making are raw. Ooh. Our shop's pretty tiny. We actually don't we don't have room for any other <laughs> things to do. So we're going, going the wrong Out direction. Of necessity. Yes. <laughs> and, where, and where are you located in Berlin? We're on Pitt Street, mm -hmm. um, right off of Main Street in downtown Berlin. Perfect. 
Yeah. What do you think? That looks beautiful. Howdy, what do you think of my zoodling skills, Boy, Jimmy? like none other. <laughs> Incredible. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. There we zoodling. go. Um, you want to get this out of the way of it? Go ahead. <laughs> so what next? Uh, it's, it's very simple. What I did ahead of time, so what the viewers are not seeing is that I did make the dressing. Um, it's a Thai peanut dressing, so it is peanut butter, soy sauce, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of lime. Oh, okay. And so it's very simple, and I whisked that together. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll actually combine them in the bigger in the bowl, big bowl here. Okay. Um, so if you'd like to dump that in there. Zoodles going in. Um, perfect. And then, what's and then we'll add the cucumbers in as well. So another thing you can find at the local farmer's market. Sure. And then I have, so you'll notice up there, I have a little bit of ginger, okay. um, maybe just a sprinkle, because a little bit of ginger goes a very long yeah, way. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, fresh ginger especially. Okay, um, a little sprinkle of that. And then we'll add the dressing. Cool. I love wow. dressing. Peanut dressing. I've never tried it. What? I must, I must be growing up under a rock or something. <laughs> I don't know. So we'll, we'll just mix that around. Um, this is something that could taste better even after it marinades, but mm -hmm. you know, in the interest of time, we'll we'll try it now. Could I serve it up for you? Certainly, Perfect. thank you. Please. Whoa, that's, oh, those are some big beautiful. zoodles. There's <laughs> some zoodling skill right there. That's what we're talking about. We tried Lisa just does not mess around. <laughs> you do not get these teeny tiny zoodles that you're going to get out of there the store. There we go. I, there I cut go. them off. You okay. want perfect size zoodles? You contact Lisa. <laughs> Just I did going. exactly what she told me to I do. You are very, very good. <laughs> I could spend all day just on one of them. <laughs> I think you could. End to end, like spaghetti. Oh, well, yeah. That would be interesting yeah, to It's watch. like Lady in the Tramp style. <laughs> yes, all right, exactly. There we go. Okay. And the last thing I would do is just top it with a little bit of peanut. Oh, um, and that's mostly for show since you get the, the taste of the peanut butter in there. Uh, oh, okay. So wow. this is... Maybe I'll grab a knife out for you. To cut the zoodles? <laughs> yeah, to cut the zoodles. Yeah, I'm going in. Okay. Head first. Um, a knife should do this. <laughs> and this is just something, again, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. This is just something that came to mind. This is something you do at home. I will give my husband all the credit for this. So he would make um, like this Thai dressing. Um, he has made it for years. And so I took his idea. Um, but the zoodles, I don't think he knew what those were before this. So. Mm -hmm. I'll that back part, him up on that one. A little combination. That's good. Yeah. It is. It's crisp. It's light. It's refreshing. It's tasty. Tasty. You're going to sign the kids. Go zoodle my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I and I think zoodles. kids would even like it. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Megan Hines, June and Juice, downtown Berlin. Thank, Thank you yes. so much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Mm. First time we ever zoodled in the Delmar Life <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs>